Mars always gets a bad rap for being a dirty mining planet full of conflict. I disagree, let's take a vacation. Palm trees and sunshine are boring, being able to blow the crap out of everything that's moving or not moving. Now that's relaxing. Red Faction Gorilla Take a trip to Mars. You don't even have to visit Recall. You can just do it on your PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. But they forgot another important console, Vectrex. This would look excellent in vector-based graphics. Little green lines flying everywhere when you blow things up. Got your sledgehammer and charges? Good. Let's see what you can do. Bringing down the man with force. Lots of it. I had high expectations for this game because the original Red Faction is one of the greatest shooters ever created by man. Watch my review of Red Faction for PS2 and you'll see how much I love that game. Brilliant writing, awesome action weapons, and it's just hilarious. Red Faction Guerrilla meets my expectations, but not exactly in the way that I expected. It doesn't actually have that much in common with the original Red Faction except for Geomod 2.0, which is the star of this game. Without Geomod 2, this would just be another run around and shoot things complete missions kind of game, but with Geomod 2, this is worth playing. They brought out the whole Geomod thing with the first Red Faction where you could shoot your way through walls and, and blast your way through these mining tunnels. It actually was not used all that effectively in the first game, but here the entire game revolves around Geomod. Two, bringing down buildings, destroying things, seeing pieces flying everywhere, and then collecting salvage, which is the equivalent of money. The storyline takes place a couple decades after the first Red Faction, but I don't find it quite as, quite as interesting as the original. Uh, the first game is, is hard to beat. To be fair, it was genius. That's the whole reason they can even call this game Red Faction, because the first one was so damn good everyone remembers the name. I laughed my way through the first Red Faction a couple times. And, and that's my opinion. The storyline is not the strength of Red Faction, Guerrilla. The sheer amount of chaos and destruction that you can create is the strength of Red Faction, Guerrilla. Because of Geomod 2. Gutterson is dead. Just look how nicely things blow up and fall down. It really gives you a feeling of accomplishment. Seeing the EDF forces structures crumble before your eyes. Just be careful not to let them land on you. I did get crushed beneath a few buildings and turbines. You know, it happens. Red Faction Gorilla does retain some of the original feel from the first Red Faction. The nice selection of absurd weapons in the game, the whole miners uprising kind of thing. It's certainly not short on action, 
the first red faction started you in the in the mines and it was a first person shooter where you had to blast your way out of the mines through Ultor, through offices, up into space, back down to Mars. It was a wonderful ride. This game is a much larger environment where you hop into vehicles, drive to missions, get out, destroy everything, run back to your home base. It's a sizable game that you can spend a lot of time playing and it gives you multiplayer. Not so secretly, I wish that they had kept this series more in line with the first one, which I found to be a non-stop adrenaline-fueled thrill ride. This one is just a completely different game. You can spend more time just running around, finding things to destroy, picking fights with the EDF, and attacking people with a giant sledgehammer. The first one kept you on the edge of your seat with excitement the entire time. This one allows you to play the game at your own pace. You accept missions, many times you're blowing up some enemy bases, rescuing prisoners, defending something, driving from one spot to another. You can also just run around the Martian landscape and find things to blow up, mine, or collect salvage or just uh, pick random fights with people. The more missions that you complete and the more salvage that you collect in any way allows you to buy new weapons and upgrade them. Overall, it's an extremely fun, well-made game. Technically, it is rock solid. It's hard to really stand out with these mission-based action games anymore, but they've done a good job with Geomod 2 and some of the humor and style from the original Red Faction. Like, just the sheer absurdity of being able to bring down walls, people, and vehicles with a sledgehammer. That's fun. That doesn't get old. I mean, granted, I'm a simpleton, but I like bringing down things with a sledgehammer. And the debt packs. You can set a whole number of them. You can stick them on people, just like in the first game. Now, I'm glad they brought that back. <laughs> yeah, good times. If this looks fun to you, I think you'll enjoy Red Faction Guerrilla. Play the first one if you've never played it, because it's absolutely amazing. I didn't care for the second one very much. We should all give THQ and Volition a round of applause, though. It's great to see the Red Faction make an explosive return. I hope it continues. Yeah. 